Hi, how are you? It's Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we slayed Lich Lord Chillwinter, caught the Mammoth Destroyer, and one of Nessingwary's lackeys by the name of Harold Lane. And today, we will be venturing into the Temple of Ankala. We'll have a chat here with Chieftain Wintergale. Winds guide you. Blending in. Sage Airy has finished the shroud. Take it with you and travel to the temple city of Ankala. Don the cloak within the city's bounds and hide yourself from most of the scourge there. This will be our best opportunity to gather information about the enemy's fortifications and leaders. While wearing the cloak, scout the three large spires on the grounds of the city. While the shrouds will shield you from most of the scourge, the Ankala abominations will be able to find you if you get too close. Ancestors watch. Okay, so we got the imbued scourge shroud. Put that there and see what happens with this. Suppose we have other quests here. Where you get those weapons? Black Temple off of Illidan. I'm surprised this guy doesn't even doesn't know that. Must be new to the game. That a dungeon in Wrath? No, a raid. PBC. <laughs> I thought every WoW player knew about the Warglaives. But I guess not. That's good. That means we got some new players. Or people that just haven't really, you know... Play back then, or just didn't really play back then, I guess. I guess we'll use the shroud. Did I use the shroud? Okay, the shroud of the scourge, good. Should be easy to get now, is uh, 60, right? Uh, probably not. So where do we have to go? We have to go up here. We gotta watch out for the abominations. I hope WoW's getting some new players, man. I really do. WoW needs fresh blood. Alright, so we found the first, uh, first clue, I guess. Stay away from these A-bombs. So where's the next spot we gotta go to? Over here, another temple. Yeah, I think you would probably need like a 10 man. With like a tank, healer, all that. To go through 25 man black temple. Maybe you could do it as a 5. That would be really tough though. I know on retail you can solo it and get the glaives, and it's hard for them to even drop. I did Black Temple for like... Seven months? Seven to eight months before I got both glaives? So I got them at the, the end of TBC. Kind of sucks. But I got some use out of them. At least I got them. Like, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> it's really nice when you get legendaries early. All right, supposedly we didn't discover this yet. Fire of the Blood Scouted. I guess we have to go a little higher. What is the meaning of this? I have not yet finished my feast. High Priest Neferset says...
Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll tell you guys how I got the glaives. Give you a little bit of a background. So I started a guild with a couple of friends of mine called Soup on Fairlina. Still going on, going today. And I was the main tank in, at the beginning of Classic in 2019. And I tanked through uh, Molten Core, Blackwing Lair, AQ-40, and an Axe-Ramus with them. And I never got Thunder Fury. I did the whole expand, no, all of Classic without Thunder Fury. Tried to get the bindings off of Baron Geddon, and they just never dropped. All I had was the guard bindings. I farmed over 10,000 gold, which, was, which took me a while back then. And, uh, yeah, I just never got, you know, Thunder Fury, which kind of sucked. So I'll take off the shroud now. Clearly, think we need to have it. Okay, good. There we go. And yeah, so I never got Thunder Fury. At the end of Nax, I took a break from the game. Pretty much once we killed KT, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to take a break. Stop playing Classic for like nine months. So I didn't raid with the guild in... in uh, at the beginning at TBC for Karazhan. And for a decent chunk of uh, Phase 2 with uh, Serpent Shrine Cavern and uh, Tevis Keep. And I'll keep talking about it after we uh, uh, Blending in, Chieftain Wintergale listens as you describe your observations. The information you've gathered will help us, un help us to plan our assault on the Temple City. We'll need to find a way to defeat the officers you identified and get into the Necropolis. Within the spires, you described 12 the main lieutenants of the Scourge leader, the High Priest. Not only do they command the Scourge forces, but they hold the key to the Necropolis above and their master. An endless stream of Scourge minions will overrun us if we can't find and defeat their leader. I cannot leave my people defenseless, however such Durm might want to bring the fight to the enemy. It falls on you, Freddy Griddler, to slay the High Priest and take the scrolls they hold. May the I guess we'll pick this one up too. Courageous Strike. From the beginning, I've counseled that Chieftain Wintergale should assemble our mighty warriors and attack our enemy at their base. My advice has fallen on deaf ears and he has proven that he'd rather tiptoe around according to Sage Ares' plans. I'll wait no longer. If Chieftain Wintergale is too cowardly to send our warriors into battle, perhaps you'd be willing to show him that a direct attack can succeed. Storm the temple, city of Ankala, and slay all in your path, Freddy Griddler. Nice. Sounds pretty good. Who wish to speak? The presence of the plague cauldrons within the temple city of Ankala worries me for greatly, Freddy Griddler. It's clear that Chieftain Wintergale trusts your judgment and your knowledge of our enemy. Would you help me deal with the cauldrons as you help the Chieftain carry out his plans in the temple city? I repaired a totem which will attack and neutralize the contents of the cauldrons. All you must do is locate the cauldrons and use the totem near each scourge weapon to destroy. We do. Each scourge weapon we destroy brings us closer to victory. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. We got some some quests for Ankala. And yeah, so yeah, back to what I was saying. So yeah, I never got Thunder Fury in Classic. Tanked all through it. Took a break for like nine months in raid in uh, phase one and, and a good chunk of phase two and then I, ca I came back at the end of phase two which was like the the end of tempest keep and servant shrine cavern got a bunch of gear started raiding as a rogue in the guild again and eventually black temple came out and they're like you know what trav since uh you know you never got thunder fury we're gonna let you be the guy who's first up to get the, the glaives. And it was either me or a warrior that was going to get them, and I was uh, the one that got them. And uh, another pair didn't drop, which kind of sucked. We only got one pair. I think we got one pair, and then we got one more glaive, and that was it.
I'm currently, I'm, uh, I'm not in the guild. Now. Decided to take a break from, like, guild stuff. It can become a headache. It's not enjoyable. So. I'm taking a break from all that. But I do, uh, hope to raid again. Eventually in Wrath of the Lich King. I don't know when, though. We'll see. Gotta level up first. But yeah, that's how I got the claims, guys. And yeah, once I... Once they decided, it took me like another eight months, seven to eight months of raiding just to get the glaives. <laughs> Went through all of phase three, cleared Mount Hydro and Black Temple like a bunch of times. Even went into uh, Sunwell in the final phase, phase five. And uh, yeah, I even killed, killed Jaden without the glaives. I got first kill and killed Jaden. I didn't have place. So I pretty much did the same thing in Classic. I went through the entire expansion, and I didn't get the Legendary. And then once we were, like, farming, somewhat farming, somewhat plateau, that's when the Glaives dropped. So it was good I stuck around. After the, the kill Jaden kill. Because that's when usually people take breaks, you know? You know, all the content's done. Really all you can do at that point is just, like, increase your clear time. Which some guilds, you know, care about. One cool thing about Classic, it, it's the type of rating that I haven't really, like, jumped into too much. But I did do a decent amount in, uh, in TBC, well, a little bit. And that is just speedrunning a raid. It's kind of cool. I did it in Classic as well, for, like, BWL and, and AQ40, mostly. Something you really don't have in retail other than, you know, Mythic Plus. Gotta fight these Crypt Fiends? No. So we gotta find these Cauldrons. Also, there's one up here, I think. Gotta fight this guy? Or do I have to go up another level? Where are these cauldrons at? Is it inside there? High Priest never set school. They're probably on a higher level. We'll fight these guys regardless, see what happens. But yeah, going through classic without Thunder Fury as a as a main tank sucks. It really sucks. Because in classic as a tank, especially in vanilla, like, threat is such a big deal. And it can sometimes be a pain to uh, hold on to. So, what Thunder Fury does, it pretty much gives you a ton of threat. Pretty much, like, almost doubles your threat generation. And, uh, I had to really go out of my way. 
as a tank to make sure that I was pulling like solid threat. I made sure I always had like full buffs every raid. I also had to, you also have to have all your consumes, but that's just standard. Yeah, it was, it was sad that I didn't get it. <laughs> I didn't get Thunder Fury. Maybe I'll get it in the future. Who knows? I still have the, the character, and I actually ported my character over to the Cossack Era servers. So maybe one day if I ever go back to, uh, to raiding Classic again on a Classic Era server, if they're still popular, maybe I could join a guild and try to get them to uh, hook me up with a, a Baron Binding if it ever drops. So we have a totem we need to use here. This one? Sage Aries totem. Scroll of Agility, let's just use it. There's another cauldron just up here. What's down there? If there's anything in here. Oh, there he is. High Priest Andorath. What if we can look at these scrolls? Can't. Our back piece? We don't have one right now. We should probably put one on. Well, there's our uh, parachute cloak. Put that on later. Well, there we go. Another cauldron down. I'll be honest, I actually did Wrath of Lich King in retail, in my retail playthrough on my Hunter. And this, this part felt a lot harder. And I know my Rogue is pretty damn weird for this type of content, and also he's like a high level. And I think that's what makes it feel a lot easier. Because in retail, everything is, uh, 
you know, scale to your level. So everything is some, like, I would say a challenge. But it's not a com like a complete pushover, you can say. I just remember it kind of felt like, I don't know, a little bit harder. It's kind of strange, because in retail you're usually like, just like wrecking all the mobs while you're leveling up, but I think due to the scaling it's gotten a little bit more of a challenge. Alright, so we got all the ghouls. Now we just need to go slay this high priest and get this cauldron cleansed. We got DC. Let's get back on quick. I don't really want to uh, edit it out. It's kind of funny how we just DC'd because I used rocket boots. It's pretty weird, actually. It looks like this got slain, so I guess we'll go over here and get this cauldron. This should be the end of Borean Tundra. I know we got another quest down here. Cruelty of the Kivaldir. Maybe we'll try to do that. It would be a shame just to leave one quest standing. After finishing the rest. I can get this guy out. He's in there. Well, look who it is. He disturbed my meditation. <laughs> I wonder if that got him to come up. Like, sl like slaying those two... Like, webbed... Webbed beings, or whatever that is. Webbed prisons, I guess you could call it. So let's turn these quests in. And then I think we'll probably have to come back to slay the leader. And then I assume that is the end of uh, Temple of Ankala. Oh wow, we got gripped. Got gripped by stitches. That was kind of cool. This is me off that I can't unlock this lockbox. I'm going to have to level up my... My, uh, lock picking. I'm surprised it's only at like 350. I guess maybe we have to go to the rogue trainer to, to level it up. Usually it just levels up as you look, like gain levels. For some reason, I can't open it up. Like, I'll try right now and never mind. I guess I was wrong. Alright, see what's inside. Shadow Council Boots. Level 67. At least we got a little bit of a... A level for that. Leveled up our lock picking. Alright, so let's turn these in. Greetings. We must go get into the necropolis if we're to break through the scourge and clear a path for the villagers. Chieftain Wintergale reads the words written on the scrolls. Shabdir Bak Sokin. Words of the ancient, harsh language used by the Nerubians and apt ones at that. The servant bows to the master's authority. These are the words that will gain your entry into the necropolis. Okay. So there we go. Good thing he knows uh, Nerubian. On the lowest tier of the temple city, there is a gray altar bathed in light. Step into it to gain entry to the dread 
Necropolis Naxanar. Be cautious, Freddy Krittler. Prince Valinar will certainly be defended by his personal retainers who will give their lives to keep you from ascending to the top level of Necropolis. You must find your way through the Necropolis to the Prince's seat. If you fail to defeat him, Freddy Krittler, I fear my people will never know the safety Ice Mist offers. Shall not have you, have, been you have proven yourself fearless and demonstrated your prowess in combat. I believe you would make a fine Tonka warrior. I only wish the Chieftain had the same understanding. We are fortunate to count you as an ally in our struggle to evacuate the village before it is overrun by the scourge. Go in peace. How may I aid? Sage Harry accepts a totem from you. Did the totem work? Its preparation required ancient magics that sages haven't used in generations. Of all the knowledge passed down, only a fraction of it remains in use today. Alright, so we'll uh, get these the late cauldrons. Ah, I guess we'll sell a couple just things. A thing for you. Or we, uh... Venture off here. Where'd those uh, pauldrons go? I think that should be good for now. Yeah, let's head back and we'll uh, we'll deal with the the final boss in the temple city of Ankala. I'm pretty sure we have to go through something here. Salran's broken key. We still have to do a couple quests. There's a group one here. That's the one we're going to do right now. I think we can still do it without being in a group. Find your way through the necropolis. Remember there's like a... It's like a portal, like right here. Yeah. This is where we got to go. There we go, we're in Naxanar. Kind of looks like Naxramus, but a little bit different. Luth on the vial. Guess he's gonna invite me. What a nice guy. Guess we'll help each other. Found a group. There you go, pal. One down. Is that the main guy? It's just one of them, right? Who's the next one? Is he over here? Oh, wow, this guy trucks. He's advantage. Lead out. Invitation. I'm gonna stun lock him here. There's a long kidney. Could finish him off in this. This would actually be pretty tough fights. We're really using any cooldowns there, though. Just our defensive ones. Funny how most of these guys are blood elves. I guess they bailed on Kael'thas and they're like, you know what, we're joining the Lich King. This first the last, there's one more, right? Gotta be like one way up or final Prince Valinar. Where is he? How do we get the Prince Valinar? Oh, we have to go to the, up here. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, he does. He's not an elite. Oh, this is this is Prince Valinar. Went in all epic like that.
Nice, he gave me some boofs. right there the prince himself Let's take a peek at him oh he's almost killed us I gotta pop a shot Oh my gosh, we got killed. <laughs> that was hilarious. Rip. I guess we're going back. It was my bad. I kind of... That'd be an interesting fight solo. Just wanted to take a picture, you know? And this guy just wouldn't, you know? Wouldn't wait. It's already got flying. I think once we go to Dalaran, we can get it. I don't know what level we gotta be, though. That's gonna be tough. Got it this time. Looks kind of cool. Okay, let's go. Just want to get a screenshot. All right, up we go. So let me get rid of this guy. I guess he's letting me start. I'm gonna stun him right off the bat. He's immune to stuns. That's not good. I don't have my abilities. Dead. I wonder if he'll kill him. Shadow Bolt's gonna wreck him. Yeah, this guy's tough. Yeah, we can. I can do it. I actually need his damage. I didn't think that first spell would kill me.
I'm just gonna go all out on him. Hopefully it works. We gotta go like one of these spots. Got another rogue. Cool. I wonder where the prince is. Is he on the other side? Yeah, there he is. Yeah, I need to eat something. I wonder if I, like, pop killing spree, will he not be able to kill me? There we go, we got a good amount of damage in there. Poke that. There we go, he's dead. I don't think we needed the rogue. I think I could have done it. Got him. I think we could have done it solo, maybe. It would have been tough. But killing spree after that first ability, and then you cloak of shadows the next, and then you just go all out on him. And it's just it's kind of like a DPS race after that. Alright, so there we go. We did it. Let's, uh... Help this guy here. He's gonna die. Yeah, so I guess we'll hearth back to Tonkala Village. We'll turn this quest in. Let's see what we get for it. Peace, friend. With the prince defeated, the scourge presence in Boring Tundra is broken. I have no illusions that they will stay away for long, which is why I must focus on preparing Durham and lead the villagers on their way to Ice Mist. The chieftain shakes his head slowly. For all the disagreements I've had with Durham, I trust his judgment and his abilities. I cannot bring myself to abandon Tonkala, so I will defend it until I am slain. Right, going down with the ship. Not a bad. It's an alright neck. The fall of Tonkala Village. We are lost, Freddy Cooler. This place has been our home for many generations, but it is no longer safe. There remains only death. Death and a memory of what used to be. I have called for the evacuation of Tonkala. All remaining Tonka must leave at once and make their way to our capital city, Ice Mist, located in the Dragonblight, where Gale points east. You must help get my people to safety, Freddy Griller. Mother Taranuk awaits you at the village gates. Hurry, the scourge close in from all sides. Alright, so what should we do? Should we help them right now, or should what I think we'll do is, uh, yeah, we'll call the episode here. Next episode, we'll get this quest done, and then we'll help uh, the people get to uh, to Dragon Dragon Blight, and then that will be our our new questing zone, guys. But that's going to be the end of today's episode. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. 
Later.